Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Thursday, a little bit after noon. I am heading to the UPS store, naturally, to pick up a package. And I have just sat there and looked through the, a report for work to see just how ridiculously behind I am. And it's actually, it actually shocked me that uh, I'm that far behind. So, despite the fact that it is 62 degrees and sunny, I am going to go home after I get this package and I'm going to sit there. I'm not going to leave my desk until I get everything done to get caught up. In the grand scheme of things, it really won't take me very long. I just haven't been able to make myself sit there and do it. So, gonna do it, giggity, and get it done today. Not, oh, I'll do it tonight, or I'll, yeah, I got tomorrow, oh, then I got all weekend. No, today, it gets done. By close of business, I will be caught up completely with what I have allowed to get way the hell too far behind. I will do it begrudgingly because it is so nice out. That's what happens when you don't take care of business. Sometimes you just have to suck it up. So it's time for me to do that now. All right, so what did I get? Actually, I got a cheese plate and a bigger magical arm. And that way I have something that's not as jiggly. Let's go get a package. Okay, got the package and also got notification that they uh, increased their prices, which I didn't look at. I just thought that I was due to renew for another year. Turns out I'm due in February. <laughs> so I just went ahead and did that, but the new rate doesn't start until March 1st. So I was able to lock in the old rate, yay. But for now, the only th reason for me existing today is to get caught up on day job. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Procrastination is bad, no matter what I say. Let's go update some Salesforce. Okay, so here's the setup. You can see this is the magical arm that's hooked up to the bottom of the Ninja, which comes up to here to the triple cold tube mount, which has the Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter on it. The Ninja comes back and hooks up to the bottom of the cheese plate. You can see the cheese plate now that has the ARCA clamp on it. And then if you go way back there, you can see the light that is now hooked up that runs up above and to the left of the whole camera setup. And then you can see how this, see how that, how loose that is. So I definitely got to get rid of all of like this entire rat's nest of wire. I don't need that because that's for the microphone, which I'm not using and everything else is good to go. And I think it, it works pretty good. I mean, yes, I have to look down. There's no getting away from that. There's no way for me to, to mount this Ninja that's either right above or right below. And I don't want it off to the side because that's even more unnerving. And I don't really need to look at it just to make sure that I'm framed. So now that I've got this all hooked up and, and everything all mounted and all that kind of shit, I'm basically using the Ninja to determine where it needs to go so that I'm centered between all the boxes of these shelves and that my grid pattern is relatively parallel to the lines that are made by all the shelves. But I think I've got it all figured out. Now, it is broad ass daylight. I did not close the window. I do have the LED panel on and I have all obviously the apertures on. I also have my office lights on, the TV, the computer and all that shit. So I'm really bright, brighter than I normally would be, which sort of washes these colors out a bit. But I'm just trying right now, this isn't about lighting and everything. This is about setup. Ha, huh. okay. So I believe I've got the setup all set up and it's good to go now. Everything is on there really tight. The wobble that I'm gonna get from that light would be if I actually kicked the tripod and I move the tripod back so that it is not touching the table. Even if I stick my feet down here on the, on, you know, on the floor in front of me, I'm not anywhere near the legs of the tripod and that's gonna keep that jiggle from happening. Here I am, I'm shaking the table and you can't see that anymore, which you used to be able to see because I had everything sort of touching because I had to get it as close as possible. So the camera's on there well, the ninja's on there well, the microphone, that I'd never use, I'm now gonna use is right in front of me. But the lights up there, it's good to go. Everything is perfect on here. The one thing that I'm gonna have to do is put this HDMI clamp back up there because the weight of all that shit is really pulling it down. And I do have a USB-C cable up there so that it is actually plugged into the camera. And while it may not actually be charging the camera, hopefully it'll keep it from 
draining it down. I think I've really got this all figured out now. As with everything that I do, the, the tweaking and the changing and the buying new shit and trying other stuff and this, that, and the other thing, I think I finally got it all done. So that means now I have the perfect birding setup or wildlife setup for when I go out. I have the perfect filming setup, which now I'm only gonna be using this camera. So I don't have to set anything else up or use different cages or different connectors or different microphones. And I don't have to memorize a different button layout and all that kind of stuff. I'm good to go. I've got this all set up now, not only here in the office studio, but also my run and gun and in the Forerunner. The bottom line is, is that I've got all these setups all figured out. But that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.